popular literary American fiction. I do find myself being disappointed more often than not with those. I think the most recent one was a three-for-one volume of uh, Jean Echenot, uh, which includes uh, both I'm Gone and Piano, and Piano is one of my uh, favorite uh, books because it takes such an unlikely subject and an unlikely turn and it plays it out perfectly. I think uh, popular authors uh, who write a simple language, obviously, if it's simple language, it's easier to translate. Um, but surprisingly, I think uh, authors who are very challenging, who play a lot with languages, often gain in translation as well because uh, it permits the translator to add something of their own uh, to the text. I'd love to be able to read more by some Chinese authors like Jia Pinghua, which fortunately I believe more are coming out, um, or uh, Dag Solstad, the Norwegian author, who I could perhaps make my way through the Norwegian, but I would much prefer if they were available in a language that I could more easily read. Uh, I do think stress in any form, whether it's just personal or uh, larger geopolitical stress, does seem to uh, make for uh, more interesting literature. Uh, it's fairly easy. I just, uh, I get so immersed in a book. I, I, I truly, I'm one of these people who lose themselves in a book, so that's relatively easy. I'm more drawn to corporate law. Uh, I was uh, never for the theatrics of the trial law. Uh, I'm actually a detail-oriented, uh, text-oriented person, so actually going through documents, uh, going through contracts, uh, that, that suited me quite well. Relatively rarely, immediately, sometimes I, I've read a book uh, and I'll um, leave a period of time, often years, before I find myself able to uh, review it or interested enough in reviewing it. Uh, I do think uh, second readings always show you different things about books, but I have to admit uh, I'm an impatient person. I want to get on with the next, I want to move on to a new book.